I'm really curious about how solar energy converts sunlight into electricity. In fact, a solar cell consists of two layers, the negative layer on top and the positive layer at the bottom. The negative layer is made from a mixture of silicon and phosphorus, which gives it an excess of electrons. The positive layer is made from a mixture of silicon and boron, which lacks electrons, creating electron holes that attract electrons. When the negative and positive layers are placed together, the electrons near the contact area fill these electron holes. This forms a new region at the junction of the negative and positive layers called the depletion region. In the depletion region, all the electron holes are filled with electrons, creating a balanced and electrically neutral state. This region acts as a barrier, preventing excess electrons from the top layer from flowing to the bottom layer. Then, when sunlight shines on the solar cell, the light contains photons that trigger electrons in the depletion region to be released from their holes. The released electrons move upward, while the electron holes move downward. At this point, the top region becomes rich in electrons, and the bottom region becomes rich in electron holes. When a conductor connects the top and bottom regions, the electrons are attracted to fill the electron holes in the lower region. After filling the electron holes in the lower region, the electrons move back to the depletion region. As long as light continues to shine on the solar cell, this process repeats continuously. Therefore, electricity generation in a solar cell is caused by the movement of electrons into and out of electron holes. Electrons naturally move toward electron holes while sunlight releases electrons from these holes. This mechanism creates a continuous flow of electrons, a process known as the photovoltaic effect.